Hello and welcome to Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Taurus. This is your Lionsgate portal reading. Lionsgate, the Lionsgate portal is a cosmic alignment between Earth and Sirius. And it's actually a period of time when this is happening starting around July 26th and ending around August 12th. And this is the cosmic alignment between Earth and the star Sirius. As Sirius rises, Orion's belt directly aligns with the Pyramid of Giza, and it looks like Sirius comes closer to Earth than ever. Sirius represents abundance and fertility. And this Lion's Gateway happens at the height of Leo season on uh, August 8th. So the numerology 8-8 is extremely important. And Leo energy, which is associated with the heart center and individual expression of the divine, acts as the perfect stage to anchor these ascension codes and higher consciousness, which is being transmitted to us from the sun and from the star Sirius. So it's aligning us with another level of activation and opportunities for progress, peace, abundance, and ascension. Now, many of you may be feeling these ascension symptoms, so please make sure you're taking care of yourselves at this time. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for Taurus for this Lionsgate portal reading. Taurus, you get power over seven scorpions. Wow. Wow. Very interesting. This card has not come up yet, you guys. So this is, this is pretty cool. The Lady Isis teaches the art of conjuring, of being able to use will and word to gain dominion over lower vibrational energies. We must be careful to use this gift with compassion, respect, and love. Using words with care and firmness will bring great healing into your life. You are guided to become aware of the power of your words and to realize that they are becoming very effective as a healing instrument. The lady was able to cause the poison of seven scorpions to yield to her healing intent by naming them and dominating their poison. She did so out of compassion to save the life of a young boy. In this story lies the mystery of her conjuring art that is awakening in you. To name the poison requires careful and clear assessment. If you judge or resist really knowing it, you are unlikely to be able to accurately name and therefore gain power over the poison. If you stay curious, detached, and compassionate, your perception and ability to wield the power that comes with the ability to accurately name something will increase. The poison may be jealousy, resentment, fear, or guilt. It may be blame or shame, anger or possessiveness born of abandonment or rejection in the past. It may be a poison that is sourced from within your own self or injected into your system from another. It could be an actual phrase or insult, a cruel childhood nickname or taunt, even said in humor, but that wounded the open body soul at the time. It might be a cultural poison, such as the sickness evidenced in our cultural images of the feminine body that leads to distorted perceptions of ideal body image, hatred of our bodies, and disordered eating. The poison might be your own fear of success or failure. It might quite simply be the ego in a dramatic, endless spiral of suffering from which there appears to be no respite. Isis can help you heal and grow more powerful than any poison in your system or relationship or any toxic environment by helping you name it, take ownership of the situation, and make any inner change necessary so that you can either affect transformation of the situation or are transported from it by your changing vibration, which then draws a different circumstance more aligned with your frequency. Wow, Taurus, what... A healing message. All right, let's go ahead and see what additional messages come through for Taurus. For this Lionsgate reading, please. Wow, I just feel really affected by that, Taurus. Everything you've been through, isolating and naming that poison so that you can heal from it. The story of Isis with the seven scorpions is that she was 
you know, she was hiding from her brother and, um, and she went to someone's house and a woman denied her lodging and the scorpions were so angry because she, you know, because she looked like this traveler, this vagabond and was scared of her scorpions. And they went to another home where a woman gave her, gave her lodging. And in the middle of the night, the scorpions went back to the woman's house and um, they put all their poison together and stung her boy. And Isis woke up in the middle of the night hearing the cries of the mother of the woman who had rejected her, not given her lodging when she needed it. And regardless of that sort of insult, she saved the boy because it was the right thing to do. So really, some of you might be dealing with people who have really hurt you, Taurus. Whether it's family or friends or partners, toxic relationships. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what messages come through here. This is very powerful, very deep. I feel very affected by this and what you guys have been through. Okay, so the first card out here, you got the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, wow. Queen of Swords upright. And you get the Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, so your overall energy here is the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is Moon and Libra, um, but it can represent any air energy. Um, the Two of Swords is about being at a crossroads, having a decision to make, and not quite willing to make that decision yet because you may not have all of the information. So it's going to be really important that you don't make any snap decisions or judgments, that you sit with this, really figure out, name your poison, name what it is that has been affecting you so that you can heal and clear it. And Spirit's saying you don't have to rush into this process, Taurus. So you for the first card out is the Knight of Swords in reverse. This is that poison. This very well may come from someone. Some of you may be dealing with an air energy, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. The Knight of Swords in reverse is somebody who's very volatile, who's very rude, someone who's set out to hurt you. Now, if it doesn't resonate as somebody in your childhood, in your family, a relationship you've been in, if you can't isolate it, then it could be an aspect of yourself as we heard in the description of this card, right? So it's this is that energy echoed right here, that Knight of Swords. It's angry, it's malicious, it's dangerous, it's the poison that you're being asked to isolate it, isolate. But you guys are really coming through as this queen of swords. And I love this because the queen for me is this Isis energy that you have to, um, you have to anchor in right now with this lion's gate. I love the swords energy because it's you becoming a pillar of light, receiving these light codes, integrating this information, this knowledge, this wisdom into, into turning it into a healing process, healing trauma. And it's not an easy process to do so. Um, it doesn't feel nice when it's happening. But the Queen of Swords, she has the wherewithal, the strength, and the courage. This is someone, she is not anchored in her shadow self, but she has been through a lot. She's been through very dark times, but she's learning to transmute that energy and she's receiving this um, these light codes and she's completely aligned and turning it into healing. Now you get the Seven of Wands coming out. The Seven of Wands is interesting because it's about the fight and the courage. There's a sense of exhaustion. Again, some of you guys are going to be experiencing ascension symptoms which can be tiredness it can be flu-like symptoms you may need to sleep a lot more and you know i'm asking you to make sure that you're trying to eat as clean as possible and you're also drinking enough water but you're also being compassionate to yourself because right now the energies are very very deep and they're very intense so this is a bit of that exhaustion this is the fire energy though and the seven of wands is you know is somebody who also he has this staff and this staff here Look at all of these gators underneath him, or these crocodiles, rather. Okay? And he's really, he's, this is a very tough journey. And at times, you may feel like you don't have the strength and courage to go on, but Spirit is saying that you do. The Seven of Wands also, usually he's, this staff is covering his heart space. And you can see here, he's still, he's protecting his heart space here. 
protecting that heart space. So the need for some very, for a lot of heart healing, which this Leo energy, which deals with the heart center is all about. And so part of me also feels like things are going to get easier. The seven of wands in reverse takes us back to the six of wands, which portends or foretells a victory. So you guys are on the right path, no matter how difficult it might see seem, but the healing here is taking place and you guys are exactly where you need to be. You guys are doing just fine. Wow, Taurus. Okay. So I know it hasn't been easy, you guys. I feel almost like moved to tears because I know you've been through so much and there's some, there are some deep wounds here that are being healed and you're doing it on your own, opening up to receive, to receive these light codes, anchor them into the earth plane. Taurus, thank you. Thank you for all of the work you're doing because it not only heals you, but it helps heal the collective. All right, and you get passages, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. Yes, definitely. Oh, they said not that one. <laughs> inner power. By your own command, you brought yourself here at this moment in life. You have nothing to fear. Yeah, Taurus, you're doing it. The healing power comes from within. Okay. You're doing it. You are the reason you are here at this point of time on your journey. Freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine and sacred reason. I love that. So you're freeing yourself from this poison. You are healing from it. Dream grand things. Dream big because whatever this is, this has been holding you back. For some of you, it could be fear of success. For some of you, it might be body image. For some of you, it might be feeling like you're enough. But green, dream grand things for the divine, sacred reason. Being in touch with the divine. This is going to bring you healing. What you're doing right now is bringing you healing and it's bringing you victory. And I feel like things are going to get a lot easier for you, Taurus. But it hasn't been easy. That's very clear. All right, you guys, I love you so much. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, share, ring that notification bell. But most of all, I want to thank you for all your love and support. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.